Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Brandfit Productions YouTube channel and it is time for the Brandfit Productions monthly show. A very warm welcome back to another edition of the Brownfield Productions Monthly Show. Now some of you might have noticed that I've actually changed the titles a little bit because I thought, how on a minute, we've done the first six episodes of the Brownfield Productions Monthly Show and I thought it's about time it gets a little bit of a um, little bit of a refurbishment with the um, title. So I thought I've changed a little bit. I've actually added in a few videos that I've done recently which I'm going to be talking to you about in a few minutes. And yeah. Can I just say, it has been a very exciting month for Brandfit Productions and can I just say, July 2019 is definitely the busiest moment of the entire history of the Brandfit Productions YouTube channel at the moment it is because like I said there might be another another year that might be that with July but however July 2019 it has been the most busiest month of all. So. Oh, I'm actually sweating. It's actually been, it's actually been a very hot uh, week. It's actually, the days have actually been very long, and it's been too hot and that. I'm trying to cool myself down on that. However, I'm going to try my very best uh, to get through this edition of the Velvet Productions Monthly Show. So let's start off at the very beginning of July. Now, however, some of you might notice I actually do my coaster of the week episodes. The first one went online uh, throughout that. The first week of July. I also did some roller coaster POVs as well. Uh, they keep going online as well. I've also done a short clip of the roller coaster at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, which I did. I actually did. I actually started the clip clip off at normal speed, and then afterwards I then did the clip again and then made it a little bit faster just to make it a bit exciting at the end and that. But yeah, that's went. That's what went online on the first week of July. However, there weren't many videos that went online in that week. However. In this next section, I'm going to be talking to you about when the actual video schedule starts to get busy for Banfit Productions. Okay then, let's start off where the video scheduling for Banfit Productions started to get really busy. So, the week commencing Monday the 8th of July, this is when the video started uh, to actually come to life here on Banfit Productions. So, during that week, I, I actually went to the Great Yarmouth Wheels Festival. That was on the um, 6th and 7th of July. So I went down there, recorded two vlogs and did some mini clips as well, uh, doing, doing both days of the event. So the first video that went online was the motorbike motorbikes one. So the first little mini clip that I did was the motorbikes arriving at the festival. So what this... So what this video meant was it was actually to give a little bit of a teaser of what the vlog is going to involve. So I thought, hang on a minute, it's going to take a long while to do the vlogs because um, I actually got to put all the videos, all the footage together, uh, do all the editing, add in the titles and the end screens well and, you know, just get rid of all the bits that I do not want and that. But yeah, that definitely took a long time to do both vlogs. So I thought, let's do some mini clips while the, the vlogs are being edited. So, the first clip, like I said, motorbikes arriving at the festival. Uh, it was just like, you know, just seeing a lot of different motorbikes. They, they all come, they all came in different shapes and sizes. There were different model makes, um, different ages of motorbikes as well. Like some some were modern, some were, old, some were older. You know, if you've not checked that, check that video out, make sure you do check it out. So, moving on for that, in between we had a behind the scenes tour video that involved me on how I publish the videos on Bradford Productions, whether it's scheduling the videos and writing a description, putting in a title and doing a, placing in a thumbnail as well for the, for the video and then of course doing the end screen as well. So if you're not checked out that small behind the scenes tour video, uh, Make sure you do check it out. Like I said, oh, it is absolutely sweating. I've actually tried my very best to cool down on that. So yeah, let's keep going. So after that Beyond the Scenes tour video, I then actually uploaded a video 
of the Red Dragon Monster Truck on the very first day of the festival. So if you've not checked out that video, it's the monster truck that actually takes members of the public. So members of the public go on the back of this monster truck and the monster truck goes around an empty car park and it actually goes over two crushed cars. And then afterwards the monster truck then goes around the car park corners at high speed. You know, it was a really, really good event to watch and I really, really enjoyed it. So if you've not checked out that one, make sure you check that video out. Also then, something very, very special happened at the end of this month. Now, let's just say, I can't remember what day it was. Oh yeah, I actually know what the day was. Monday the 15th of July 2019, I woke up, had a look at my computer, and I found out that I reached over 100 YouTube subscribers. Can I just say a big thanks to each and every one of you who subscribed to the channel, liked the videos, uh, commenting on the videos as well, or any other things you do, like follow the Banfield Productions Facebook page and the Instagram pages, like I said. I mainly do the Facebook page for Banfield Productions because that's where that's where all the um, videos, hyperlinks go. So, you know, if you want to check the Facebook page out for plenty more updates as well. Same as Instagram, I only do that for special updates, whether it's like, you know, any special videos going online and that. So, yeah, that's what's been happening so far. So the next video that went online after the 100 subscribers video was the first of two vlogs from the Great Yarmouth Wheels Festival. Now the first vlog was the motorcycle takeover, so if you've not seen that vlog, make sure you check it out. This vlog involves uh, the arrival of the motorbikes. I went down Great Yarmouth Seafront to have a look at all the different motorbikes that were there. There were some that date back to the 20th century, there were a few that actually well, most of them are actually quite modern, so yeah. yeah. There were a lot of different motorbikes, they all came in different shapes, they were different colours, some of them were bigger, some of them were smaller, you know, they all came in different sizes, there were different company makes as well, and different control panels, and you know, so on. There's so many good features of a motorbike. If you've not checked out uh, that vlog, uh, make sure you do because it was a very very rainy day and you know there are still lots of people coming out there to enjoy the festival but yeah that was a very very good day and yeah it was packed with over 1,000 motorbikes lining the seafront up and that was absolutely fantastic to see so many people coming to the festival for the day. So let's move on to the next video then the Second episode of Building Roller Coasters with Jamie went online. So the first part went online, it involved me, you know, choosing a different coaster and then building it as well. So yeah. So the first one went online well nearly two weeks ago. I'm currently building a dragon roller coaster at the moment, so if you've not checked out that video, make sure you do. Like I said, in every single episode I do, I split it into three equal parts. Like the first one is when I actually build the first half of the roller coaster. Uh, the second part is when I actually finish it off, then repaint it, and then the third and final final part is I actually show you a PV of the coaster in action. I'm very sorry if I'm if I'm trying to get the sweat off. It's absolutely been hot today, and you know it's absolutely boiling. And you know, I just hope this weather ends very soon. <laughs> so after that, then I uploaded a small video of a classic showman's organ at the. Great Yard Wheels Festival, it was playing some really old fairground style music. It's actually not a short thing, it's actually a short video, so I actually went down there, it was really nice to hear some traditional fairground music playing at the festival. It was actually near the Sea Life Centre, so yeah, make sure you check that little video out. Also then, after that, I then actually did another video of, of the Red Dragon Monster Truck. Now, I actually did the first video on a rainy day and then the second video I did it was when the sun was absolutely shining so yeah if you've not checked out that video I actually got a closer shot of the monster truck in action this time because the first day was actually quite busy because there were so many people uh, wanting to get some footage of the monster truck as well then after that monster truck the day two vlog then went online so like I said the, the red dragon monster truck video that was also on day two as well if you've not seen that seen that little video but yeah the the second vlog from Great Yarmouth Wheel Festival it is when the classic cars were there there are so many traditional classic cars and there were a few movie cars there as well there are lots of different 
other types of cars including VW campers, minis, hot rods, lots and lots of different cars that were actually in on the on the second day of the festival and it was absolutely a fantastic weekend and I cannot wait to go back there next year and check out the festival and film two new vlogs and of course do some more mini clips as well for the Bradford Productions YouTube channel. So moving on to the final set of videos now here on Bradford Productions. Uh, I actually did a Spook Express video at Joyland in Great Yarmouth, uh, one of my first coasters I went on as a kid. And yeah, so if you've not checked out that video, it, it was literally just me taking some different camera angles of the Spook Express going around the mountain, which is on top of the park. I also did it from a good distance as well. I actually did it from the side of the park and then at the back as well. And also the front, you know, to get different shots of the coaster going around the actual mountain. So if you've not seen that video, that video is now online for you to watch. Also then the, the second part of Build and Roller Coasters with Jamie, that went online this week, just gone as well. So that involved me uh, finishing off the second half of the roller coaster. I did the first half in the first part of the episode. And yeah, I actually then gave the inverted dragon coaster a bit of a repaint. And then the final part has now already gone line because it was actually the 30th yesterday and we are now on the 31st of July. So yeah, make sure you check that video out. Also then, a brand new vlog from the Great Young, not the Great Yards Wheel Festival, but the East Coast Pirates Club. Uh, they, they were actually down there for the day uh, with their cars on display. There were, there were lots of things to do, lots of cars to look at look out they even had a rock and roll band playing as well like playing lots of different music from the 50s the 60s and the 70s there were lots of different cars all along the anchor gardens and outside Britannia Pier in Joyland so if you've not checked out that vlog make sure you check it out because it was absolutely a fantastic sunny day as well so and then also did a final update vlog on the Great Yarmouth Boat and Lake, which is set to open at some point in the summer holidays. I'm going to be down there doing a vlog, and I'm actually going to be go I'm actually going to be walking around the lake, and and possibly I might even have a go on the boats actually. But unfortunately, that won't I won't I won't be able to film footage of them because it's actually on the water. So yeah, if you're not checked out that boat and lake vlog, make sure you do check it out. I've actually really enjoyed following all the latest construction that has took place over the year. You know, this time last year in July, they were literally just started, um, you know, starting the project. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic to see the boating lake on how it is today. It looks so much better. If you've not checked out the, the really earlier videos of me, I was actually standing in front of the boating lake, um, just telling you how sad and empty it was but now it's now back getting ready to open all the boats are going to be coming back the little cafe on the island's going to be open as well it's going to be really really awesome to see and i cannot wait to go back down there in the summer and then finally we then had the um latest episode of coaster of the week which was episode 25 i cannot believe it you know 25 different episodes uh, done throughout the year so far please make sure you check please make sure you check out the other different episodes that I've actually done of Coaster of the Week and unfortunately I've now got to do one coaster per week because unfortunately I'm on a very tight schedule for Bramfit Productions now. I've got Spooky Coaster of the Week to come as well. I've, I've literally just recorded all the episodes of Spooky Coaster of the Week and I've literally um, literally nearly finished editing the first one. I've actually got two more to go which will be online in October. So there you go then. That is literally it then for this exciting month of Bamfake Productions. What an exciting month it has been for the channel. You know, reaching 100 YouTube subscribers, going out to the Great Yard Wheels Festival, and then going to the East Coast Pirates Club as well. What an exciting time it has been. And July 2019, it has got to be the busiest uh, time of the year for Bamfake Productions. And can I just say a big thanks for all your support. And thank you so much for watching all the videos that have gone online throughout July 2019. Like I said, we're now coming up to August tomorrow. And like I said, there is going to be so much videos to come. There's going to be more on the way. And I can't wait to share them with you in the next few weeks. Thank you very much for watching Bradford Productions. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.